I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean, I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old rival Seth Rollins on board. But I figured I'd let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. Right. So Seth and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this. Hey, Rhea. You, uh, interested in joining Team SmackDown for War Games? You wish. I actually want to talk to you on behalf of Dominic. What's Dom so afraid of saying to my face? Not afraid. He just doesn't think you deserve his time after he helped you beat Kane with the taser and you never really thanked him after. That's not quite how I remember it. Whatever. I'm not here to argue about the past. I have a proposal. Dominic would be willing to put any ill will aside and join your team for war games if you did something for him in return. What's mommy's boy have in mind? Take out Dom's old man once and for all in an ambulance match. Raise a legend. That's a bit brutal, even by your standards. If you want Dom's services, that's the offer. Take it or leave it. <sighs> Fine. I don't feel great about this, but I need to have any and all options on the table when it comes to selecting my team. I'll do it. You've made the right decision. We'll be watching. One eternity later. Ambulance is open for business. Are we close to hearing the sirens? Doing their best just to shut that first door. Now just needs to get that second door closed. Just close the second door and victory is yours. 
They slammed the door and this one's over. I can't believe that one, what a match. Here is your winner, the Reaper, B. B. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. Laying on that stretcher, seeing the flashing lights, those can only add to the feeling of defeat. I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Seth has never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Let's see what you can do against Drew Gulak. Then we'll talk. Easy. Oh, hey there. You here to steal my baked beans? Uh, come again? The baked beans are indeed delicious today, but I'm alluding to the time you stole my show. I didn't forget about that. 
I didn't steal your show. I just came out with a very similar show and then temporarily got yours canceled. Point is, the baked beans analogy doesn't really hold up. I'm not sure any of that's helping. Look, working with Miz was not the best decision. But I actually wanted to talk to you about how we could possibly put our differences aside against Team Raw. Interesting. You know, much like a stellar baked beans recipe, trust takes time to perfect. And speaking of culinary exploits, Kofi and I have had quite the beef with Pretty Deadly as of late. Isn't Kofi out hurt for a bit? Yes, because of those pesky pretty boys. But that's where you come in. If you can play the part of Kofi for one night, New Day attire and all, then maybe it'll show that we have the right ingredients for future tag team success. So a one-night partnership in exchange for you throwing your hat in the ring for war games. I can do that. Excellent. Now let's go get you out of that bean-stained shirt and dressed appropriately. Welcome to the new day. Well, sort of. After a battle over their respective video game shows, it's really nice to see Xavier Woods and the champ getting along. Nothing a WWE superstar does is motivated by pure kindness. There's an ulterior motive here, and it may involve our champion trying to recruit teammates for his War Games match at Survivor Series. If that's the case, Xavier Woods would make a great addition to Team SmackDown if these two can coexist here tonight. Man. Driving the elbow. Countered it just in time. And dropped. Saw that coming. Vicious right forearm. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Pump kick on target. Now he's been put on the defensive. What makes a great tag partner call is knowing when to tag. We'll find out soon enough if he's even a good tag partner. Prince can withstand much more of this. Yeah, some flaws in Elton's game plan are being exposed. Time to roll. And a rolling cutter. And he's able to reverse. Bam! Down he goes. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Hoist it up, into the snap, suplex. Watch out. And able to beat Woods to the punch. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Leg drop. Kick to the gut. Oh, <laughs> right. From the 
top. Relax oh, handle. He's starting to struggle here. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Oh, shoulder first. Hey, the ring just shifted. Elton creates an opening for himself. Looking wobbly in the corner. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? That unraveled on Elton. Oh, what impact. Elton evades that one. Prince can withstand much more of this. Yeah, some flaws in Elton's game plan are being exposed. Hammer it away! Every strike more devastating than the last. Oh, man! Uh-oh. It's gonna... We're gonna see it! Stop! He was elusive there. Super kick! Creates an opening for himself. What a pump kick. Sister Abigail. Good night. A lot of momentum now on his side. It's a sign he's got his opponent figured out. Oh my goodness. Dynamite leaping tombstone. Prince is in the worst way now. With one hand. The oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. He may get the three count right here. I think so. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. delivered back into the ring. Fought off with an elbow. What a headbutt. Vicious. Here he comes off the tag. Ooh. Stomping. Oh, look at the power! Not finished yet! Tagged in. <laughs> Sent into the corner. Reversed. Kick to the body. Oh, and the cover for the win. Kicks out. Almost inhuman at this point. From out of nowhere. RKO. Squaring off right by our announce table. Pounding the breadbasket. Lands a kick to the gut. Oh, counters right into the breadbasket. Ooh, the cutter. 
Things now not going well for Elton. Yeah, some flaws in Elton's game plan are being exposed. Stunts. Ooh, clothesline delivered. He thinks he has it. Forces the shoulder up after two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Woods has got to find a way out of this dire spot. Woods gets him back. Picture perfect drop kick. Go right to the kidneys. Golly. He went right into that turnbuckle. Just completely controlling their opponent here. Has him draped over the middle rope. Taking it out from the second. And well-timed maneuver there. The mouth is mightier than the sword for Xavier Woods. Take off. Able to sidestep it. Knew what was coming there. Returning fire. The military blast, followed by the gut check. Target in the arm now. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch. Oh, that got turned around on Woods. Oh, my lord. From out of nowhere. Okay. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. He's back in, beating the count. Tornado will be ended here. No, he gets the shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? Oh, and then the chest as well. Prince saw that was coming. Hits him with the counter. Slam sets things up. Boom! Face first. Ooh, elbow strike. All right, Sam Sting, this could be it. Oh my God! A small package driver. Will Xavier put it away? And win. That may be one of the biggest wins in his career. Here are your winners. They got the win, but I can't believe Woods would even speak to this guy. He knows that the Universal Champion's a snake after he stole up, up, down, down. Okay, but you love the down, up, down, up, Corey. You call it Miz's artistic triumph.
You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And oh. Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw as a slap in the face. And now, he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait
We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um, tensions escalating and who knows how Raw would retaliate, Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good. I'll let the boss know. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and a SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Ow. And dropped! Oh no, what, what is this? Reverse chunk slam! Oh, what a kick to the face! Oh my god! The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Just breaking down the opponent. He's able to fend off the attack. Wow, what a pump kick! Strike to the back of the neck. Come out of nowhere. RKO! Styles is getting dominated, but AJ can't let this flourish derail him. Oh, two fists to the jaw. Steer clear of that. Suplex brings him down. Immediately powers out. Maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance. Big knee to the midsection. He's lost some of his win now. Oh! Boom! Look at him go! Incredible! Where is this superstar finding this? Oh, an overhand punch. Lifting his opponent up down to the turnbuckle and then a big right hand. 
Not quite sure what they have in mind, but it's not going to be pretty. Top rope, dangerous situation. This is egregious. Superplex to the outside. On AJ caught him. Uh oh. Looking for the suplex. No, 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 no. no. Breaker. What a pump kick. Ah, uh, springboard. Springboard cutter. How? Like a heat seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. And this match will head back to the ring. Twist. Yes, he didn't come here to watch him boast and taunt. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. Saved by a leg AJ Styles rolls through. Here it comes. There's the cat crusher. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout strategy, but it might work. Ooh, that hurt. Comes back into the ring. And AJ's caught. What a cutter! Is it enough to put Styles away? Cover! Oh, shoulder up before three. The resolve of AJ Styles. I can't say anymore. It just leaves me speechless. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if Ernie to win might just be impossible. And he has to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. Cover! Two count! It is enough! Finally, it's over! Here is your winner, the Reaper! C. C. Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. If I know Styles...